You know when people wear big shirts and it looks really cute? Well, when I wear a big shirt, I just look really pregnant. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I just want to say hello to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for um, finding me, I guess, through the giveaway. It was a lot of fun. And if you want to see me, like, eat or drink something weird again, just let me know. I'll totally do it. Okay, so I have a massive haul. This is just a bunch of things I've amassed through the summer. I think literally every plus size retailer is in this pile. So I got like one or two pieces here and there throughout the summer. And I figured since summer is coming to a close, I'll just show you everything I got. All right, we'll start with Forever 21. I got this black and white tank top. It's um, knit on the front and then woven on the sides. I'm trying to learn fashion terms. So it's like um, a different material, the white and the black. And the white kind of shoots out, it's kind of peplumy, but it's not like bam, bam, peplum. It's just kind of like, it flows very nice. And I just really love how this looks on me. Okay, next from Forever 21 Plus, um, you saw this in my lookbook. It is bathing suit bottoms. I love anything tie-dye, so I had to pick these up. Plus I already had a blue Forever 21 swim top from last year, so I was like, that'll go with this. But like I say, with all plus size swimwear, I feel like every bottom looks like a diaper. Like. I don't know, it just looks weird, but once it's on, it was fine. Um, if you haven't seen it on me, I have a plus size swimwear lookbook if you wanna see that. All right, next is Wet Seal Plus, and I've been just like hunting for bralettes. So I picked this one up. Um, I really love any kind of detail, like around this area, you know? So I saw that this had like a little bit of cutout cage action here. So I picked that up. Plus, Wet Seal is always having really, really great promotions, so I think this ended up being like three dollars so i'm definitely gonna wear this under like um low cut tops or something again you saw this in my swimwear lookbook this is a bathing suit top this has been my favorite one i've gotten this summer i just think because the pattern and the fact that it has you know underwire and a little bit of padding it just makes you look like really good like if this was a regular top i'd probably wear it so yeah that was that's been my favorite swimwear item i got this summer and then finally from wet seal plus I needed something to get myself to a certain amount for free shipping. And this looked good on the model, but then on me, it looked like I was pregnant. It's just like a really big top. Um, I think it has a little bit of shark bite at the bottom. But like I said, it's just like a little too big. So this will be like a wear around the house item, but it is really comfortable. But then on me, it was like maternity wear. Okay, next is this pair of skinny jeans from Fashion of Figure. I did something really cool with Fashion of Figure um, with their new denim launch. There will be a video about that soon, and then I guess you'll all see it, um, the actual finished product, but, sorry, there's my hair on it. They launched a new denim line, and like they've been working for a year on it, that the fit is gonna be the same across the board. So if you're, you know, like a 14 in the boyfriend jeans, you're also gonna be a 14 in the skinny jeans. You know, it's you don't have to like, oh, on this cut, I might be this. It's uh, like, you're the same size across the board. So I picked up their skinny jeans. I fell in love with their jeggings though, so I'm gonna put in an order for those. Their jeggings are really great. They also have a, a real pocket on the butt, which is like unheard of in jeggings. So I'm gonna get those. But I really love these. Um, very comfortable, they fit great. Next is a pair of jeggings from Torrid. Um, I have, it's like their pixie pant or something. I got the um, black version of this and I fell in love because um, the whole pixie pant thing have a layer of, I think, spanks inside the pants. See? So it really sucks you in. Um, so I was like, I like those so much, let me get the, like, denim version. Um, also, I have a zero in the black version. These went, I went for a one because of the length. Um, so the length is great on these, but now, or maybe because it's denim, I don't know, it just kind of looks weird. Like, it looks more a little frumpy on me. I don't know. So maybe I should have sized myself differently. So I would definitely get more of the black version of that pant, maybe in a one. I, plus, I think from the black ponty to a jegging, there was probably some size differences. So next time I buy those, I think I'm just going to get the black in a one. All right, next I went to Boohoo. They had like a 40% off deal going on, so I took advantage of that. So this was from their sales section, actually. And I think it was like 10 bucks. Uh, so it's just a like paint stroke pattern shift dress. Um, I like it because it's kind of simple, but because of the pattern, it looks like really fancy. Um, like I said, this is 10 bucks, but if you put it on, you know, it looks like you're ready for a night out. Um, I think I got a 16 in this, a US 16, um, for the length, and I'm really happy with where it hits on me. I'm still a little confused by Boohoo sizing because it'll be like UK size 
I think they're four more than the US size. So it's like UK size 20, US 16. So you have to like really pay attention when you're ordering. But I really like that and for $10, like who cares, you know? <laughs> um, I've had my eye on this on Boohoo's site for a really long time. It's a bodysuit, um, plain black bodysuit, but it also has the detail and the cutout on the uh, boobs. So I finally picked that up. This is one where I should have sized up. I don't think anyone ever regrets sizing up in a bodysuit, and I really should have done that here. But I've worn it a couple times. It's not like too uncomfortable. But now I know for next time, go up a size. Um, I got a 14 in this. I should have gotten a 16. Um, again, has the snaps, so we're all good here. <laughs> and I just really like how this looks. I wear it with a skirt. I can wear it with um, denim shorts. You can wear it with a, like anything. It looks really good. All right, and finally from Boohoo, I got this rose-colored maxi skirt. I saw Loie Lane wear this in her LA vlogs, and I really liked it. Um, I also really like that they're like fake out buttons, so you're not just gonna be like flying open. Um, love the color, it's something different because I usually go for black. It's a little long on me, so I have to pull it up to like right under my stomach, but that's not so bad. Um, it is a little see through though, like I was like, oh cool, I'll, like tuck some skirts and um, tuck some shirts into it, but it was like so see through that I was like, oh, I guess I have to like just wear crop tops with it or something, or wear a slip. I wish they would show you like the model, like in action and doing like, everyday stuff. Or just have her creepily bend over so you could see if it would be see-through. But it's pretty see-through, so I gotta think of some ways to wear this. Since I deducted I can't really wear a lot of shirts with that, I went to pick up some crop tops. And I got these from Charlotte Roos. Um, you actually saw me wear this entire outfit last week in my challenge video. So I got this crop top from Charlotte Roos. Um, I like how there's like the little button up in the front. I thought that was cute. I love lace. I love the scallop bottom. So I picked this up, I think it was like 15 bucks. Plus you can wear that with a lot. I should have, um, if you saw my inside the dressing room with the crop tops, I should have gotten that in white as well. I got another white crop top which is evading me somewhere, but it has the overlay in the front and then the tie in the back and I got that in white. But I feel like I should have gotten that same top in black and white, but whatever. I don't really wear crop tops that much, so I was like, it's no huge loss, like, I got to, like, I'll live. It's the last one. Okay. So finally, um, after trying Gwinnie Bee and like seeing that I would pay for City Chic, like it's kind of expensive, but I was like, I know the quality now. So I've been looking at the City Chic site a lot and I really like that um, skater skirt I got in coral from Gwinnie Bee from them. And I want it in black because I feel like that would really be a good staple in my wardrobe. Plus I like how their black skirts are a little longer. A lot of my skater skirts like come like right under my butt and it's just like a little weird at this age. So I went and got a black skater skirt from them. This was great because I think they retail for $59.99. This was on sale for $29.99 and then by some grace of God they were having half off a of sale. So I got this really amazing quality skirt for $15. So thank you so much for watching. Like I said, if you are a new subscriber, please let me know anything you'd like to see. Like, not a lot is out of the question for me. So thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.